What's up guys? John here from Titan and I get the question all the time. John, what's the therapy of the week? Do you guys got any Titan events going on? Any discounts? Well, you know what? The answer is real simple and easy. It's all in our Titan Medical Center newsletter and you can subscribe very easily. All you have to do is pull out your smartphone, open the camera function and point it right at this QR code right here. Once you do that, it's going to give you a link that's going to take you right to the newsletter where you can subscribe and you can find out the therapy of the week, Titan events, discounts, and much, much more. So guys, pull out that smartphone right now for me, open the camera function, and point at the QR code so you guys can get the Titan Medical Center newsletter every week. Don't delay, guys. Pull out that smartphone and sign up right now. What's up guys, John here, and I'm with my good friends and my Titan family, along with my beautiful wife, Sharice, Amanda, and Drew. Here, way to go. WCFL Titan is the official sponsor, way to right. get it. WCFL 27, glad to be here. Big shout out to Rafael Garcia. We're getting in here, we can't wait to see these fights. Last one we was like right before COVID happened. Oh! And the first here, Rafael. So he's yes. here. So we can't wait, because you know what? The, the guys' fights were great, but I'll tell you what, those girls were brawling no, last time. No, 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 no,
So guys, this WCFL 27 was amazing. These fighters were awesome. They all brought a whole bunch of heart. I mean, they showed their passion out there and definitely, they definitely were let the blood fly and the fist flow. What do you think, guys? I think it was a good, good fight out there. There was a couple good fights. Even the girl fights were real good fights. You gotta love those fights. Girl fights are always the best. <laughs> best. You hit her on always the, the best. 37 next seconds, she knocked her out of the That's it! Ooh, that's it! Seconds. Hey, but it took a lot of courage to get out there. Definitely, definitely a lot of heart just to get in the ring. So big shout out to all the fighters out here. The promoter, Rafael Garcia, WCFLA. 27, Time Medical Center, Time Sponsor, loving this. So we'll be back next year or next match whenever Raphael puts another one together. So we're really excited. So make sure you guys are staying tuned. Hey guys, John here from Titan. I'm Sharice. And we're the owners of Titan Medical Center. And today we want to talk to you about how easy it is to become a patient and get Titan Medical Center therapies. It's real simple and a real easy process. Couldn't make it any easier. Now, do you guys remember the old school way of medicine where you call up your doctor's office, hey, I need to come in for this, that, and the other. You get scheduled, go there, drive all the way to the office, go sit in the lobby after you sign in. You might be sitting there watching some TV, hanging out, watching all the patients in the lobby that they're also hanging out, and then wait maybe 20 or 30 minutes if you're lucky. And then after that, you have a medical assistant or a nurse bring you back and they work you up, do your vitals, put you in a room, and then you wait another 20 or 30 minutes um, for the doctor, nurse practitioner, or PA to come in and answer your questions and be able to address any concerns you might have. Now, at that point, you're only really spending, because if we really count the minutes here, maybe a minute to five minutes with that provider. So, you know, patient care is very important to us. So, John, Tell me how easy it is and how we cut out all these steps. So it's real simple and real easy. All you guys would have to do is call or text 727-389-3220. We can send you the new patient paperwork or you can go right to our website, tightmedicalcenter.com, click on the tab of new patient paperwork and you're gonna fill out the new patient paperwork. You're gonna get it back to us with ease. You can fill it out on your phone, your tablet, your desktop. Once we get that new patient paperwork, we're gonna call you and schedule you for the time to see the medical provider. So at that point, you could do it in the comfort of your home. You could do it in your car. You could do it at your job, at your lunch break, wherever is most convenient for you. At that point, when you see the medical provider and they go over all your new patient paperwork or your labs or whatever it is, then they can make the recommendation of what therapies can be the best for you. They can answer all your questions in the comfort of your own home. And at that point, after that, that script will go into the pharmacy and the pharmacy will ship directly to your doorstep. You don't have to go nowhere. It's that simple and that easy. Now this is on a Skype or FaceTime and it's recorded and put in your permanent file for you. So everything is done with ease, super, super, super simple. We try to make it simple anyway, but this is the easy steps to become a patient here. And this is how you can get our injectable vitamins, our injectable aminos. We have peptides, we have anti-aging therapies, we have weight loss therapies. We have all different kinds of therapies just depending on your specific needs. Don't forget those libido enhancers, guys and girls, because everybody likes those. We can also help you out with blood work by setting you up anywhere in the country with a lab right in your zip code. We send you the slip, you go in with the slip, they draw your blood, we get the results in three to four business days, call you and get you scheduled and get you guys hooked up. You know, it hasn't been this simple ever to do and we wanna make it as most convenient for you guys out there and that's why Titan Medical Center services nationwide. That means with any state that you're in, we can help you out from the comfort of your own home, office, or vehicle. So guys, if you want to sign up as a patient, please give us a call or text 727-389-3220, or you can go directly to the website, titanmedicalcenter.com, click the new patient paperwork tab, fill out the new patient paperwork, we'll get it automatically, and then we'll get you scheduled up so you can feel better, look better, and perform better with Titan Medical Center. Become part of the Titan Medical Center family today. What's up guys, how you doing? John here from Titan, and I want to talk to you today about vitamin D. Vitamin D is a very, very important part of our body as far as taking care of our system on the inside. So vitamin D isn't really a vitamin. Vitamin D is really a hormone, and vitamin D is produced in the kidneys. 
And why is it producing the kidneys? It's producing the kidneys to control calcium concentration blood levels. And at that point, that directly impacts the immune system. So vitamin D is very, very important because if you don't have the right amount of vitamin D or you're vitamin D deficient, there's a lot of negative things that can impact your health. Now, talk about osteoporosis, right? Like rickets and stuff like that. That's what kids were getting with, with deficient vitamin D levels. Uh, muscle soreness, hair loss, uh, cause kidney problems. There's a lot of issues that go along with vitamin D deficiency. And it's a big, big thing. And it's very easy to take care of. You can honestly just get a blood test, see if you're deficient. And if you are deficient, you can try an oral supplement. If that oral supplement doesn't work on the next blood test, there is an vitamin D injectable you can take once a week. We do offer it here at Titan, but I'm sure another general practitioner or something like that can help you as well. And this is very, very important because it's usually not tested for. So next time you go to your doctor or you come to Titan, you can always ask for a vitamin D test. If you're feeling lethargic, this could be another side effect from vitamin D deficiency. So it's really, really something to look into. Now, how do you raise your vitamin D levels without taking an injection or an oral supplement? Well, they say that diet is one of the biggest things you can do. So look into your diet, make sure you can change some things, you can research these things and what to eat, right? That's one thing. They say number two is from sunlight. Now, if you live in a sunlight state, like sunny Florida that I live in, right? You would think that me going outside all the time or going to these events outside where I get plenty of sunlight, way more than 15 minutes, that my body would be able to convert it and I would be, you know, vitamin D, uh, you know, uh, not deficient, but I would absorb a lot more vitamin D. So at that point, what happens is, is our body doesn't convert it. So that's why it's important to test for it. At that point, when you have your vitamin D levels and they get to the right level or above and they aren't deficient, I promise you, you will be feeling better. Me, myself, we're, I am vitamin D deficient, so I have to take an injection. Sharice is vitamin D deficient, and a lot of our patients find out they are vitamin D deficient, no matter what state or how much sunlight they're getting. Now, their diets can be really, really good, but we've seen people be vitamin D deficient that are super, super strict on their diets as well. So it's just always something to look for that can benefit your health in a major, major way. Vitamin D can be toxic to your system. If you take too much vitamin D in, it can hurt you. So don't do that. Make sure you blood test and know where you're at. Vitamin B12 is water-based and it can excrete through your body, where vitamin D is a hormone and will not excrete out through your urine and through your body. So be sure you are safe in taking vitamin D. It's not something to take in an abundance, but something to make sure that you're in the right ranges for. So that's the spiel about vitamin D. I'm John from Titan. If you like these videos, please check out our YouTube. There's plenty of educational videos on there, instructional videos on how to do the injections, what we do at Titan, and more. Also, check out our social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat, guys. I'm John from Titan. Give us a call or text if you want more information. 727-389-3220. Check out TitanMedicalCenter.com. What's up guys, John here. And I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. So uh, every week we come at you guys, we wanna tell you guys or help you guys out with some tips, tricks, or just some good information that might help your relationship, you know, go for that long distance marathon run mm -hmm. from beginning all the way to the end. So at that point, we wanna help you guys out and uh, share some of the experiences or some of the things that maybe we went through or we've seen that could definitely benefit your relationship or set you guys up for success. <laughs> so uh, let's get into the topic at hand. And I think this is a pretty good topic. Um, I think it deals with, uh, you know, almost a good percentage of the population these days. Mm -hmm. I think so. At least half, for sure. Um, because, you know, our, our United States of America is, is basically a melting pot. We have all these different cultures and stuff like that. So the topic is, is integrating or knowing the culture that you're marrying into or the relationship you're getting into, your, you know, your partner's culture. 
because different cultures expect different things, especially maybe in gender roles, mm-hmm. right? Or what they expect. It's usually a big one, the it, gender roles. It's just usually gender roles and stuff like that. And it just, like I said, it all depends on where you come from in the world uh, to expecting what your woman or your man should be doing for you, right? <laughs> yeah. 100%. It's a good one. It's a good one. So I'm Greek, you know, at that point, And we have our culture, and, and Greeks are pretty male-dominant. Um, but you know we're free thinking and we're open. I, I think these days, I think it's it's a <laughs> lot more open as far as what goes on in the gender roles. Twelve years later, okay, gender yeah. roles. You know, th- there should be you know some set boundaries or rules that you guys um, set forth in the beginning of the relationship mm-hmm. to kind of know what's expected from your partner mm-hmm. or what to expect of what's expected from you. You know, so you're not hit off guard or with the with a curveball hitting you right in the face. You're like, oh my God, what did I get myself into? Yeah, please make sure that you disclose this information because obviously it's your culture. And, you know, for the other party, it'd be nice if you want to educate yourself on the culture. So that way you guys can talk about it. Again, communication, we bring yeah. it up in every single episode. Yeah. So we're going to bring it up in this one as well. Oh, yeah. Is communicating with each other. Oh, yeah. um, you know, I'll tell you guys my experience since this was... You know, such a great experience for me. <laughs> but... She didn't get that bad. It, it, oh, you kidding me. She didn't. He just doesn't remember. I remember. No, it, he doesn't. She, she didn't get it that bad. No. You would have got it real bad, okay? Because my mother is not Greek by birth, right? So at that point, my dad was a little bit more open to the point because in my culture, usually Greeks marry Greeks. He was not open is. at all. So, And we had we had fuming fights every day. For three years, maybe four. Okay? (laughs) That is reality. I'm not even going to sit here and sugarcoat it for you. But, you know, when I got with John. They're just both (laughs) hard-headed. We realized there were a lot of likes, so now we're friends. Um, But, but, you know, obviously I wasn't Greek, um, you know. So nobody, and John actually comes from up in Chicago area, I'm going to call it, but Indiana where there is, they have like, literally it's, they have a like Greek town there, right? We have Greek communities everywhere, even here in Florida. Tarpon, Tarpon right, 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 right. But you I mean, know. they, you know, those Greek communities are pretty strong and pretty they tight. know each other. And, you know, obviously, like any other culture, it's not just Greeks, but everybody likes to gossip and talk. But, you know, as soon as we got together, you know, we, they're shortly thereafter, you know, decided to have a baby and get married very quickly. Um, so, you know, it just it was one of those things. We knew it was meant to be, and that's what we decided to do. But yeah. his family didn't quite go along with that. The mother, Mrs. Diane, she went along with it great, and me and her are, like, best friends. I love her. <laughs> that's always a good thing. That's always a good thing. Be friends with the mom. That might be another topic on a different day. But oh, <laughs> I definitely think that it was important, and me and John had to make a lot of different um the the word i'm looking for compromises to meet in the middle you know because john when i very very first met him he definitely wanted i think at that time anyway um you know obviously somebody that would cook somebody that's going to clean um you know probably somebody essentials uh, somebody you know uh, probably (laughs) somebody was going to want to stay home maybe um even take care of the house and that kind of thing he was like super super old school and he still is old school um, but unfortunately, uh, my particular position, you know, I worked two jobs and went to college. So, you know, my meals were usually McDonald's and, you know, maybe Burger King or pizza. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it just, I just, that's what I did. I worked. I like to work. I like to work. I like to make money. I like to be successful. I like to feel like you good. Accomplish something, yes. <laughs> So, um, you know, it's just, that's where something we had to meet in the middle. So I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to, you know, learn how to cook because I didn't know how to cook at the time. And uh, good old John over here taught me how to cook and make some steaks. That's right. If you guys need cooking less for your lady, go ahead and hit me up. 1995 (laughs) every month. I'll teach you. (laughs) So, you know, I had to learn how to cook. Obviously, I know how to clean. I didn't say I didn't like to clean, but, you know, I would obviously, you know, clean up the house. I wouldn't leave it as a total trash. Um, But, you know, it's, it's important that you're able to do that. And I had to overcome some obstacles here because, like I said, whether we want to agree to disagree, John's dad is Greek. And regardless if he married a Greek or not, he wanted John to marry a Greek. 
and he wanted he wanted you to have a you know i think he wanted that for him but that's not what was going to happen and you know i think we were told by multiple people that it would never last and we weren't going to get very far and you know they kind of put like bad juju on us um but you know 12 years later we're here and i'd love to share this on facebook to everyone and tag them in it <laughs> it's just funny you know it, i wouldn't even think about just the gender rules right because this could be, you know, let's say a, a totally wasp, a white Anglo-Saxon Protestant guy that's here in the, in the United States that thinks the exact same as me. He might be out in Tennessee, might be in Texas, might be just an alpha male that wants a subservient wife, um, you know, at that point. And, is, you know, he has his gender roles. He goes to work. You know, he, he takes care of the toilet for breaks and the sink or whatever, the manly things. Takes out the garbage and the woman, you know, she does. She raises the kids. She, uh, you know, she cleans the house. She makes sure, you know, her, her man is taken care of in all ways, shapes, or forms. So, I mean, I think that's just one portion. Now, the real thing you guys really got to take in consideration when you're going to get these different multicultural relationships, especially, you know, if they are like first generation or just coming over, um, from another country at that point, religion. Yeah, so I was just gonna bring that up. Religion's a yeah. big one. Original, that's a big one with me too. That is big. Um, so even at that point, like our son's Greek Orthodox, you know, Sharice, you know, basically like that with me. So you know, that's one thing you might have to take in consideration. You might have to convert over, right? You know, and, and, you know, with with Greek Orthodox and Catholicism, right? It's almost the same thing, Christianity mm-hmm. to a certain degree. So we've, we share the exact same morals, ethics, values, as far as that goes. We believe in God. Um, and there are religions out there that are totally different, right? So whether it's, uh, you know, of Islam or, um, you know, maybe Jewish or mm-hmm. stuff like that. It's just, you know, it's different things that they celebrate. You know, I don't know, like our, one of our attorneys is, is half Jewish, half Italian, but he's Jewish, <laughs> right? So he, you know, he celebrates every Jewish holiday. And nothing against Jewish holidays. But when I need them on a Monday, I can't talk to them, can't talk on the cell phone because of the holiday. I'm like, man, I got holidays, you go do what you want. But <laughs> it is what it is. So, you know, but, you know, if you're going to marry into this mm-hmm. or you're going to be in a relationship with this, you know, there's certain things that might come along with that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, our favorite show we watch every Sunday or Monday, whatever it. it is, 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> I know, it's you great. You know, they marry these people from different cultures and stuff like that. And there's this one right now with this chick's moving over to you know um uh like an islamic country basically oh, yeah. and she drinks and she does all this stuff and She's from Miami. she doesn't want to con- convert to islam and you know yeah. the parents over there are super you know i mean it's super strict on that um and, and you know they they believe in certain things and, and you know the guy wants her to convert over convert over convert over you know and forcing somebody to do that might not be a good way mm-hmm. for the relationship to start either um, when you're getting forced into thing, it's another thing if somebody wants to take that on. Right. You know, and at that point they agree with it. Like, hey, listen, you know, I really want to be a part of this. I, you know, I love you, and uh, you know, I want to do this. Right. And then that's that's why the right causes. But in the beginning, this these are main things you guys should be talking about. Right. Now we're not maybe on the first date. But, <laughs> no. But you know, so let me think. I'm gonna convert today. <laughs> yeah, like you know, you're gonna be my baby mama. We're gonna marry him <laughs> in this church, and you're gonna convert over our religion, right? Like, I'm sorry. What? Got it? Uh, excuse me. You're gonna me. cook. You're gonna clean. You're gonna be quiet and let's do just, whatever I let's say. Let's just verify here, okay? You are paying for this dinner. Just wanna make sure. We'll start there. Well, I mean, it should go like this then. At that point, you know, those guys might say, well, I'll tell you what. Um, until you convert over, we're just going to do we're gonna do the 50, Dutch 50, Dutch thing. 50, 50, and you're going to pay half, and I'm going to pay half, and we'll just go like that. Uh, <laughs> so, or, or, you know, hey, listen, this is America. You're America. You're woman equal. You can pay for my meal this time. How's yeah. that? That make you feel good, ladies. Feel uh, just good. joking. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, these are different things that you're going to have to maybe encounter with, with different cultures. And like I said, there's, you know, the United States is a melting pot. So people, you know, there's all different types of cultures and, and they expect different things. So that's what you need to be prepared for when you're in a relationship. Um, not just how good the guy looks or whatever it is, but you're going to have to, if it's going to be serious, you're going to talk about some of these things down the road. Another thing is having kids. Mm-hmm. You know, some cultures, it is a must. To have you must have a one. child. Yeah. Right? Um, because if not, you're not passing on the name, you're not doing it, and you will get fried for it. Like, mm-hmm. if you don't have a son, per se, or a child that's going to bear on the name, um, then that's a deal breaker. Mm-hmm. You know, some people are like, and this was another one, 90 Fiance, you know, this chick doesn't want to have this African guy's baby. And when, 
before she got married over in Africa. At that point, the family asked her, hey, you're going to have this kid, right? And if you can't have the kid, you're going to let him do whatever he needs to do to have this kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they're married. I said, oh, I'm not doing that. Oh, we should just be able to, you know, have our, our good years. And this guy's like, well, I, you know. I need this. This, yeah. is, what, you know, this, this is something that I, I set forth in the beginning. You knew it was an expectation uh, of something. Now, if you can't have it physically and stuff like that, it's a whole different ball game, I guess. But. You know, these are things that it could be deal deal breakers in your relationship, or mm -hmm. and you don't want to come down the road after you've invested all this time, all this energy. You've gotten very close to somebody, very attached. At that point, you know, then it's going to be heartbreak and, and disappointment and all types of different things. Yeah, I mean, if you truly love that person, you will make sacrifices or meet each other at a halfway point where yeah. both of you guys are happy on whatever it might be. Yeah. Like, okay, well, I'll do this, you do that. Um, and then obviously overcoming some of the obstacles, whether, you know, even if the family, let's just say the family and friends don't like you, be not because you're a bad person or anything of that nature, but just because you may not be of that culture, yeah. then you just do what you have to do and treat your husband or wife yeah. the best you possibly can. And then they can never say anything bad about you. Yeah. They should definitely be with you. You guys should be able to talk to these things and they should definitely have your back on some of these different issues. No, so you guys right. can work through them. I mean, if you guys are arguing or, or bickering or you guys can't come to a compromise, you know, that might not be the relationship for you. Always have each other's back. Yeah. Always. Because I mean, there's some people that they can't tell their parents no or this is not going to go down like this or whatever it is. You know, they get pressured in by their parents or by their culture. Mm -hmm. And trust me, I, I know those pressures. And so I know in these different, other, these other cultures that it's probably even worse mm -hmm. than what I've had to go through. So at that point, don't give in to the pressure. Do what's right. Do what you think is going to make you happy mm -hmm. in the long run. Um, because nobody's going to live your life except for yourself. And mm -hmm. don't get yourself in a situation where you can't get out of either. Okay? <laughs> Or, or, you know, it's going to be difficult to get out of. So at that point, take this information we guys are giving giving you guys. Uh, utilize it. Remember it. If you guys are just starting a date right now or you maybe you're in this kind of situation or going forward, this might be very helpful for you guys to talk about right away. Set the expectations. Set the boundaries. And know where you guys are going to go towards. Right? 100%. 100%. Yeah. If you love them, you'll make it work. Yeah. So this is just another tip. From me and Sharice on Cupid's Corner every Sunday, 11 a.m. on ABC, the Tight Medical Center Health and Lifestyle Show. Also, you guys can check us out on Facebook. Our YouTube has all these great videos, all these segments, and a lot, lot more. So if you guys <laughs> like this content, go there, subscribe, hit the all notifications button, and uh, get all our updates so you guys can be informed and tuned and get this great information we're putting out. I'm John. And I'm Sharice, and we will see you next Sunday.